Good morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. Happy Tuesday. I think it's June 25th. So summer is just rolling on by. I hope you're having a great, great summer. Hope you're connecting. Hope you're working hard. Hope you're just enjoying life and being present uh, therein. I want to take this 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 12 that says, Therefore, let anyone who thinks that he stands take heed lest he fall. Uh, Paul says to the church, hey, don't put confidence on in your strength, but open up your eyes lest you fall. Now, this whole chapter is all about sin and idolatry. And Paul's calling the church to not have confidence in the fact that you're walking with God today, that you won't make some bad decisions and stop walking with God tomorrow. Take heed, okay, lest you fall. It exposes this problem of idolatry. And one of the reasons why idolatry is so subtly uh, dangerous in our lives is because more often than not, we just don't see it lurking around in our hearts. Idolatry is when your heart starts to pay more attention to something God made than to God. Did you hear that? Uh, idolatry is what happens when your heart pays more attention and thereby worships something God made or someone God made instead of God himself. It's when my heart believes a lie that I don't just need the satisfaction God gives, but I need the satisfaction that job gives or this platform gives or that relationship gives or this money gives. And Christians have to be extra careful because for you and I, we know better to, to stop loving God. We know better than that. But what happens to the Christian is we try to love God and somebody else. You see, idolatry is what happens when, not when I take God off the throne, but when I ask God to scoot over. And this is the point I'm trying to make. For Christians, idols are those good things that we allow to become ultimate things. I remember watching the Lord of the Rings and Smeagol the little kind of uh, mutated little figure who has the ring, right? And the ring has these powers and it's nothing wrong with the ring in and of itself, but when it gets with Smeagol, it becomes the precious. God says to be aware that there's some things in your life, nothing wrong with them in and of itself, but when they get with you, it becomes the precious and steals your attention away from God. So be careful. It's okay to go after your job but don't treat your job like a God. It's okay to go after a relationship, but don't treat your relationship like a God. It's even okay to go after money because you need it and you need to do stuff with it. But be careful when your money becomes a God. Take heed lest you fall. And that's hope for today. I'll see you next time.